Well, you've probably heard people talking about the soaring prices of lumber these days. It's having a big impact on the construction industry, but it's also opened the door for thieves looking to cash in. The price hike is partly because lumber production slowed at the start of the pandemic. Prices jumped as high as 700 percent at one time. This increase has caused delays in home construction and renovations. And projects that are underway risk being targeted. The truck in this video filled with wood that was stolen from a job site in Denver. Andrea Flores is working on the story for us tonight. And Andrea, criminals have caught on to the worth of lumber lately for sure. Karen, we know thieves are targeting construction sites, and I called multiple lumber yards around the city of Denver, and many tell me that clients are having to reorder wood because that lumber is being sold or stolen from construction sites, rather, and that's exactly what happened in this city park neighborhood, and it was all caught on camera. 6 a.m., stole lumber in and out, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Thieves targeted a construction site early Sunday morning in a neighborhood near Colorado and Colfax. Security camera footage shows them getting away with $5,000 worth of lumber. Seven months ago, that was probably worth 1500 bucks, and they probably wouldn't even want to steal it. Kyle Arienta owns Precision Design. He's the contractor for the site and lives a block away. He says plywood is up 200 percent from a year ago. On top of being difficult to get, I could see why you know a thief would would want access to it. It'd probably have a quick cash market uh, for you know smaller builders or something that are willing to pay cash. The wood was tied down behind a secure fence. Arienta says it's more than just stolen supplies. You got to buy it again. You got to schedule the deliveries. In this case, it rained, so uh, it was even more of a delay. The site got messy. It's kind of spiraled out of control. So a five thousand dollar theft, you know, might have been. Team of things. Now out thousands of dollars, Arienta has advice for homeowners and contractors in the same situation. Make sure you have insurance. Make it difficult for them to steal it. Now Kyle has secured all of the materials on site here and has filed a report with Denver police. Now as you can see here, Denver police tell me that construction sites should be marked with no trespassing signs and equipped with either surveillance cameras or alarm systems. Reporting live in Denver tonight, I'm Andrea Flores covering Colorado First.